Today we're going to talk about something called a loop inside PHP and a loop is something we're going to use quite often when you code PHP code. So my thought was for this episode we're going to do an introduction to what loops are and we're going to talk about the first loop which is called a while loop, at least the first one I'm going to talk about. Now there's different types of loops out there and as you guys can see I did actually list a couple of examples here. Well I did actually list all the examples here. We have something called a while loop, do while loop, for loop and a for each loop. So the one we're going to focus on today, like I said, is the one called a while loop. Now, the basic idea behind a loop is that, well, let's look at it this way. If we have an if statement, we're basically checking if a certain condition is true, and then we're doing something on the screen, like, for example, writing out hello in an echo. Now, a loop is going to keep spitting out information and repeat it, like repeatedly spit out information as long as a condition is true. So to give you guys an example, let's actually go ahead and write out a while loop down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write while parentheses, curly brackets, and then inside my parentheses, we need some kind of statement that we need to check if it's true. So for this example, let's actually go ahead and say we have a variable called x, which needs to be less than five. Now, right now we don't actually have x set to anything, so I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and create a variable up on top called x, which is equal to one. So inside this while loop, we need to write something that needs to happen on the screen while this statement in here keeps being true. So for this example, let's actually go ahead and echo out some text. And I'm just going to go ahead and echo out hi there. Now I'm going to go ahead and include a break. So we go down to the next line because we will actually be looping out a couple of sentences here. So let's actually go ahead and include a HTML break. And we did actually talk about that in the last episode, or I think two episodes ago, or was the last episode, I don't remember. But if we do actually include HTML tags inside a string, then we can actually see the text as actual code if you're echoing it out inside PHP. So if I save this, now what I have here is something called, it's something called an infinite loop. And it's not something that you want to have because right now x is equal to one. And if I were to say, okay, while x is equal to one or like while x is lesser than five, which is gonna be the whole time, it's just spit out high there. If I were to run this in the browser right now, it's gonna keep spitting out infinitely high there. And that's what we call an infinite loop. So we don't want that inside the browser since it can essentially crash your computer. So what I recommend you guys to do is to always check for these end loops. You always want to make sure that this condition in here will end at some point. So underneath our echo, we're gonna go ahead and write something we talked about pretty early on in these PHP episodes, which is basically that we're gonna say that we're gonna take our variable called x plus plus, meaning that once we go down to the bottom of this you know, whatever's going on in here, then it needs to add one to X, meaning that while it loops through this the first time, X is equal to one, but when it gets to the end here, it's gonna be equal to two, meaning that when we start over, X is equal to two. And it's gonna keep doing that until it becomes four, where when it hits five, it's gonna be equal to five, meaning that it's gonna stop because now X is actually greater than lesser than five. So let's actually go ahead and loop this out on the screen and just see what happens. And as you guys can see, we get hi there, hi there, hi there, and hi there, four times. Now, if I were to set this less than or equal to five, of course, we would have one more because now we do actually say that it can also be five. But this is the basic idea behind a while loop. Now, again, like I said, there's different kinds of loops and you might want to use them depending on different purposes. Now, with databases, I usually like to use while loops in a lot of cases. Now, I do also use the other loops as well, but in a lot of cases, I I mostly use the while loop, which is why I think you guys should get really familiar with the while loop specifically, because we will be using it once we do actually learn how to set up, for example, a lock-in system, that sort of thing from the database. So this is the basic idea behind a loop, and it's really not that complicated. The most complicated thing about loops is memorizing what each of these loops actually does and when you need to use them in certain situations. So this is the basic idea behind the while loop. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.